My name is Benny Dunnan and I'm the agronomy manager for Cavalier Agro out of North Central Saskatchewan. So Cavalier is a crop input um, retail. We sell basically all their crop inputs that they need. And then we also provide precision recommendations as well. Call it a field investigation um, to make sure that they make the right decisions and help them with those decisions. And we sat down and we've tried and asked ourselves the question, how could we be more accurate in what we, we do? And the answer is simply do more soil samples. We take a soil sample every five acres or every two and a half acres. And we take a site specific soil sample, not a grid sample. We need to know where that crop is really going to be different the most. But you still need to understand how soil, how nutrients move in the soil, how it gets into the plant and how it's being expressed in the plant. So our, the responsibility on what we recommend is really, really high. So we need to make sure that we know what we're talking about. We work with that grower's whole income. If we make wrong recommendations, it will sort itself out re rather quickly if we don't have the right uh, return on investment. So five years ago, uh, me and Perry sat down um, and I tried to sell variable rate to, to Perry. Um, but Perry quickly realized that we need to prove it to him. Otherwise, it's again, it's just been his word against what, if it's right or not wrong, if it's going to work or not. And, and Perry realized that he needs a yield monitor. Then we can prove it to him. Yield maps is, is the report card of everything that we do. If we make a recommendation to a grower and we can prove it to him with a yield map that it worked, that he has a positive re return on investment, then he will believe it. And, and that's why we believe that you have to have yield maps to be um, in precision and to make sure that you're doing the right thing. What we do is we take that yield map and we put it on top of all these soil maps and we correlate it now to yield because that will drive us, that will tell us in that specific field what is the main yield driver that we need to give attention to. Whether it's calcium, whether it is phosphate, whether it's potassium, whether it's copper, a micronutrient, um, it will tell us and it will prove it. And you can prove on what acres, on every acre of that field where you need to apply it. It's not the whole field. It's never the whole field that's deficient. Then, then he can calculate also how much yield he's losing because he's not on the optimum levels. And he can calculate what risk can he take, how much money can he spend to fix that problem on this part of the field. And every time I sit down with a grower, explaining it to him this way, showing him the graphs of what's right and what's wrong on his field, Every time they go ahead and say, let's do it. It's now it's not me, the agronomist, that want to sell fertilizer or sell a foliar nutrient or sell something. It's the farmer's yield data and it's his soil data. They believe the data. And that's what I like about yield maps. Without yield maps, it's only still my word. The industry has done a good job in having yield monitors, but they have done a terrible job in explaining why you need these yield monitors, how to show it to make more money in, in your field. Um, then obviously the other thing is equipment limitation. You know, some guys have money to buy new machines that have yield mapping capability, and other guys just simply don't have the money. That, the other thing is a lot of people, especially early adopters, has gone, started out with yield mapping earlier on in, in the industry um, and they've been burned by what was available back then and they've been burned badly with that. What I like about this system is even your 500 acre farmer can be now a precision farmer because he can afford to have a yield monitor with farm TRX and it's really easy to install. Um, you don't need to be an engineer to install this thing. Um, the big thing that I like about Farm TRX is, is the fact that it's automatic. If you start the combine, it starts measuring. 
You don't have to choose the right field, the right crop. You, you don't have to choose nothing of that stuff. Um, grandpa that's driving the combine can just simply start the combine and it will start measuring. And that's what I like. Yeah, you know what? I, I went out there. We've got one uh, grower with five combines. And um, he asked me to please come out and help him calibrate. So it took me literally the whole afternoon to calibrate five combines. Now that we can give that we can do post calibration. Um, I don't have to worry about that anymore. As long as I know the total bushels, we can look at calibration factors after the fact and we can make that field look really as it's supposed to look like on, on the yield maps. And that tool is, I would say, industry leading. One that's, that's capturing data automatic which can capture data all the time um, and have um, cloud syncing capabilities. If you have those um, nice yield maps coming out of that, it's a win. The biggest one, automatic data capturing. That's my number one thing that I would want because I've sat through hours and hours trying to clean up yield, ma yield maps where the guy combined his whole farm under one field and it takes a long time to figure out which fields data go where. Um, and, and time is money. We just simply cannot spend that much time just sorting out yield maps. And what I like about the farm TRX is that it sorts it automatically into fields. And I like that. We can now create these yield maps and, um, and use it in our correlations with the soil and profitability maps to, to prove to people that what we do work. Um, and that's why I like this partnership is it's one of my own grow, growers that start developing this yield monitor. Um, and we worked alongside with him and his company to, to develop this program and make changes and make it better um, to the point today where we are very proud to be part of this whole process.